Hey guys, it's propane day. We're going to run our propane hose today. So Randy's got me back under the bus again. What can I say? So look behind your head and you see that, that slit up there? This right here? That's where they all come out of. So this is going to yeah, but, oh yeah, I'm go glad right that, in there. I'm glad that fits. <laughs> me too. Because I was wondering. So I put a, that rubber stuff around there to protect the hose when it comes out of there. Yeah, that fits really nice. I mean, the people love to see this Both. kind of stuff. I got, you know, propane rated hose here. And we're putting on 3 8 inch flared fittings, right? Yep. So we measured out what we needed and came here. And Randy's going to make it custom. So you don't have to go with what's off the shelf if you come to a place where they can make hoses. Awesome. Oh, great. Beautiful. See anything missing right now? Yeah, right here, guys. I didn't tape that joint, but I ran out of tape anyhow, so I got more tape. Yeah, and I learned some stuff too. Oh, it's always good to learn new things. So, this that I bought at the RV place, a 3 8 inch hose. Uh-huh. It's way bigger than we needed. A, a quarter inch hose will probably feed everything in here. Where we come out of the stove here, you know how we went? Look how much more flexible this is. Oh, I'm liking that. Oh, we probably didn't Wait. need our 18 inches then. Way easier to turn that corner. Yeah. But look, I got this here. Oh, cute. So now it will go. It'll come out of our, our little heater. That'll go on there. It'll put us closer to the wall, get the rubber away from the heater, and it'll be a straight shot up. Sweet. That's where that thing's going to go. This is the big test. <gasps> piece of cake. Please. Nice. Nice. If you go make us some wheat soap, two tablespoons of Dawn dish soap in here. Okay. And six tables, you know, mm -hmm. six tablespoons of water. Okay. Then we can, I'll turn the pressure on the manifold and we can check it for leaks. So hopefully you guys can see this. He just made a little strap to hold that up in place. So you did not make that? It's a... It's a hose clamp. It's a like an airline clamp for a drawer. Out of the junk drawer. I love it. And not it. the junk drawer, the extra stuff right. drawer. Right. We're upcycling again. What are we doing? We're hooked up to this tank. Uh-huh. Okay? The supply is to that side. Our little tank has pressure green indicator is on. Oh, cool. So now if I open this, oh. that's propane. Propane, coming propane, propane. Now, if you bled propane out all of those, uh -huh. right? So we know they all have air to them. So this is my little mixture that I mixed up. If it blows bubbles, then you got a leak. Do you need to do these connectors too? Yeah. We're good. All right. Okay, so we're getting ready to feed the hose, right? Over to the stove, to the oven. Yeah. I'm gonna put on this nice protective coating. Yeah, if you put the camera down, you could help me do this. I was gonna say, that looks like a job for Shelly. There you go. So put your zip ties through two holes. See how they look? Mm -hmm. So but, but up don't. here. Down through. And you turned it. It's got to be turned back. There you go. Down through here. And zip it. But don't crush it. Yeah, we want to come across right where that middle thing this is. This guy here? This one? We tied. want to go across right here. Okay, so I just tied there. So, do you think this will feed across? I hope so. So all you got to do is push up and spin your nuts off, honey, and it'll drop right down. They're right there at the end, so they come off real easy. Uh -huh. Let it come down. Is the video going? Yes. What's up, YouTube? Can you see 
it yet? Hold on, I got it. Yeah. Oh, there, oh go. there you go. Oh, that's what we want to do. We'll tuck that in. <clears throat> There's that guy, but um, I think we should leak test that too. Okay, guys, here's what I did over on the uh, underneath the range. So I need some slack. I got more, I ended up with more extra than I had planned on. But anyways, whenever I have to take the range loose, I just have to come down here and cut these zip ties, let this out so I have slack so I can tip the range up and unhook it. And then when I let it back on, I just gotta come back down and coil these back up in there. Piece of cake. So we're here at the fireplace and he's put he put a new brass elbow on to get it to get the hose away from the fire. Well, so it, the hose didn't have to turn. Yeah. And it gets it away from the heat. I want to take the pressure off of it so it's not pushing on it all the time. Mm -hmm. Or not pulling, not on, pulling it on. on it. Yeah. So okay, just... so here we are underneath at the propane cabinet. And there's the one we, the one with the loom on it is the one we took over to the range. And this is the one, it actually comes into the propane box. I turned it around the back and came around the corner and back into the manifold. So when I get some more of that protective loom, I'll cover that section of it too. But I can do that later. So let's go leak test this baby. So the back, the back valve's going over to the range. It's on because it's in line. And now this line is in line. So that's pressurized. Let me, let me look underneath just to be safe. Yep, yeah, they're all good. So let's go be tested on the inside. See any bubbles? Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Oh, excellent. So we just need our wrench. I spied some bubbles. You gotta be careful. Oh you yeah, know. you can see the air still bubbling out of them. Oh. It's still bubbling. Yep, it looks like we have got her. All right, we should be able to light this up. Then. Let's check it out. All right. Boom! Just push in on it. I am. You hold, just hold, it has to bleed the air. See that's flickering is the air coming out of the hose. There it goes. There you go. Hold it for a few seconds. Five yeah. seconds. We're golden, baby. Now those are the permanent lines for those two appliances. And we do the walls and everything behind them. We just unhook in here and move that stuff out of the way. But everything under the bus it's, it's where it needs to be it stays where it is so we have it's the, a win-win day it's a win-win we have the propane fireplace permanently hooked up and we have our um oven range hooked up so it's it's golden right right it's awesome okay so we just want to thank you guys for following us on this crazy journey that we're on we love sharing it with each and every one of you guys and just know that we love you all and we'll just catch you in the next one Bye. Hey guys, just to let you know, I am not a professional uh, propane guy. I'm just showing you the way that I did it. I did consult with my local propane guys for some of the stuff that I did. Um, just be safe, make sure you follow your local codes and do what's right in your area and what's right for you. This wasn't how to do it, it's just sharing with you how we did it.